Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing great. In last part we had done DILR coin picking puzzle and now in this part we'll talk about a very interesting problem. Expressing a natural number as difference of perfect squares. A very very important concept from number system and factors. We'll try and understand the concept and shortcuts as well. So now a number expressed as x square minus y square. Let's say the number is 20 just for an example sake. Now think about it. This can be written as x plus y into x minus y. And how can I write this? 20 I can write as 20 into 1. I can also write this as 10 into 2. I can also write this as 5 into 4. If this is the case then x plus y is equal to 20 and x minus y is equal to 1. You can see there are you know two types of cases here. First case is the multiples are, are written as even into odd case. So this is even and this is odd. Second case is even into even. And there can be you know not here but there can be another case wherein the number can be written as odd into odd case. What will happen if I have even into odd case in that case x plus y is equal to even and x minus y is equal to odd. If you will add 2x is equal to odd so x will become a a fraction or odd number by 2 will not become an integer. Similarly y will also not be an integer. So whenever you have an even into odd case or odd into even case then you cannot express as difference of two perfect squares. So this case will not give any solution. In case of even into even you will have some solution. For example in this case x plus y is equal to 10 and x minus y is equal to 2. 2x is equal to 12, x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 4. We've got one solution here. So we can write 20 as 6 square minus 4 square. So the number of positive integer solution will be 1 and that will be 6 comma 4 in this case. But will the total number of solutions equal to 1? Total number of solutions will not be equal to 1. Why? Because I can write 20 as 6 square minus minus 4 square. I can write it as minus 6 square minus 4 square. I can write it as minus 6 whole square minus minus 4 whole square. So the number of total solutions will be 1 into 4. Again coming to this case 5 into 4. Can 5 into 4 be expressed as difference of two perfect squares? It cannot be. Why? Because it is an odd into even case. For odd into even case remember you cannot do this. So what is the answer here for 20? Number of positive integer solutions is 1 and total number of integer solutions is 4, right? So we've understood this. Let's now try and take examples to understand the shortcuts. So we'll first talk about even numbers. We have a number which is of the form 4 into k, for example, 24. So what will happen in this case? 24 I can express as 24 into 1, can be expressed as 12 into 2, can be expressed as 8 into 3. We can also express this as 6 into 4. So this one if you will see it's an even number into odd number case. So no solution from here. This will give us one solution. This is again even into odd no solution from here. This will also give one solution. So 12 into 2 will give one solution. 6 into 4 will give one solution. These are positive integer solutions. What will be the total number of solution? That will be 1 into 4. This will be 1 into 4. Right. So what is the total number of solutions here? 8 and total number of positive integer solutions will be 2. Is this absolutely clear? And what's the shortcut? Shortcut is very simple. You express 24 as 4 into 6. You take this number. What is the number of factors of 6? 6 is 3 into 2. So number of factors is 2 into 2 which is 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So positive integer solution will be 2 and total solution will be positive integer solution into 4 that is 8. Let's take another number which is even number and a perfect square. Example is 16. 16 can be expressed as 16 into 1, can be expressed as 8 into 2, can be expressed as 4 into 4. For 16 into 1 is even into odd, there will be no solution possible. For 8 into 2, there will be one positive integer solution and there will be four total integer solution including the negatives also. Talking about 4 into 4, this if you think about x plus y is equal to 4 and x minus y is equal to 4. In this case x will be equal to 4 and y will be equal to 0. 
is this a positive integer solution the answer is no why because zero is not a positive integer right zero is an integer but not a positive integer so here i'll have zero positive integer solution but this number 16 can be expressed as 4 square minus 0 square it can also be expressed as minus 4 square minus 0 square there are certainly two integer solutions possible so total number of solutions becomes 6 what is the shortcut here the shortcut is very simple i have this number 16 divide this number 16 by 4 what is that number 4 what is the number of factors of 4 number of factors is 3 3 minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 1 so positive integer solution becomes 1 total solution will become 1 into 4 plus 2 why plus 2 because of this case you have seen here already right so i hope this shortcut is also clear now let's take the third case x square minus y square is 4k plus 2 take a look at this number 4k plus 2 26 can be written as 26 into 1 can be written as 13 into 2 now any number of the form 4k plus 2 will always be written as even into odd or odd into even for that matter and in such cases we know there is no solution at all moving forward whenever i have an odd number so x square minus y square is equal to 51 now 51 can be written as 51 into 1 can be written as 17 into 3 this is odd into odd this is also odd into odd so here i'll have one solution what will be that x plus y is equal to 51 x minus y is equal to 1 so 2x is equal to add the 2 52 x is equal to 26 right and y is equal to 25 that is one solution total number of positive integer solution is 1 total number of integer solution will be 1 into 4 so that becomes 4 similarly for 17 into 3 x plus y is equal to 17 x minus y is equal to 3 so 2x is equal to 20 so x is equal to 10 y is equal to 7 again one positive integer solution into 4 4 total integer solutions so total solutions will be 8 total number of positive integer solutions will be 2 so what is the shortcut here number of factors so 51 can be written as 3 into 17 here you have 1 here you have 1 so number of factors will be 2 into 2 4 so number of factors by 2 so that is the number of factors divided by 2 positive integer solution is number of factors by 2 total solution will be 4 into positive integer solution that is 8 i hope this is clear to you you guys can also check out the youtube compilation of the videos thank you so much for joining in you're all fantastic people god bless you all and take care.